Welcome to United ITV News, a program that will show you what's happening at United ISD. You'll see events and activities that take place in our school district. On today's show, you'll meet United ISD's new superintendent of schools. And we'll see who won this year's spelling bee. Those stories and more are coming up on this exciting edition of United ITV News. United ISD has selected a new superintendent of schools. After UISD Superintendent Roberto J. Santos announced he would retire at the end of the school year, the district began searching for the next superintendent of schools. After a rigorous selection process, Associate Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction David Gonzalez was selected. He will be assuming responsibility of the school district as the COVID-19 pandemic winds down and the district's students return to school while things hopefully begin to go back to normal. Mr. Gonzalez spoke at a press conference announcing the UISD board's decision to select him for the district's top leadership position. So as our kids are coming back, all I can tell the community is we've done well academically, we have a good safety system in place. We will continue to move forward. Uh, and what a lot of districts call challenges, United ISD looks at them as opportunities, and we'll continue to do so. So, yeah, my family, I want to thank you for, for allowing us to embrace the education of our students. And um, I want to again thank Mr. Santos for his leadership. Thank you very much. David Gonzalez has served as an educator for over 30 years and has been in charge of the Curriculum and Instruction Department since 2014. United ISD is happy to announce that Los Obispos Middle School has a new principal. Olga Cantu has served United ISD for 25 years and is currently associate principal of United South High School's ninth grade campus. She will replace Jessica Salazar, who was selected to be the new principal of United High School. United Independent School District has selected Rosenda K. Ruiz as the new principal of Borchers Elementary School. Ms. Ruiz is a 25-year veteran educator of United ISD with an extensive background in education. She earned a Bachelor of Arts and Sciences with a major in Psychology and a Master of Science in Education with a major in Elementary Education from Texas A&M International University. Ms. Ruiz has served as an assistant principal at Borchers Elementary for eight years. Linda B. Johnson High School had a special visit from HEB Grocery Store's representatives. While the annual HEB Excellence in Education Awards were put on hold due to the pandemic, the grocery giant opted to expand the recognition program with a statewide Texas Loves Teachers bus tour. HEB visited 50 school districts and early childhood education centers within 50 days, giving away $20,000 in HEB gift cards. The HEB prize bus rolled into the campus loaded with goodies, freebies, and lunch treats for teachers and staff. United ISD's new superintendent of schools, David Gonzalez, spoke highly of the company and their support of education across the state. HEB has always been uh, very good about recognizing educators across Texas, making sure that they get uh, the recognition for what they do every single day. And obviously, Linda B. Johnson High School uh, is one of the campuses that we've been very proud of, the success that we've had academically uh, uh, as far as uh, making sure our kids are ready for the next level. So this time, we want to thank HEB, Mr. Charles Budd himself, for all the gracious support that he's given us throughout the years. And of course, this is a 20th year with excellence in education endeavor that they have uh, promoted throughout Texas. Lyndon B. Johnson High School principal Armando Salazar was thankful that his school was selected by the grocery chain. We're certainly very grateful to HEB for, for sponsoring this event, recognizing our teachers, and, and a little thank you for our teachers who work very hard for our students on a daily basis. Every school year, HEB's Excellence in Education honors outstanding public school professionals for their dedication and commitment. United ISD held a virtual spelling bee for students in grades 3 through 8. Forty contestants representing United ISD elementary and middle schools competed virtually from their school's library. 
all students in the district spelling bee qualified for the competition by winning first place at their respective campuses spelling bees. The district winners were first place Emmanuel Remacall, who is an eighth grader at Lamar Bruni Vergata Middle School. Second place went to Carlos Del Rio, a fourth grader at Malakoff Elementary School. And third place went to Kai Yuan Nan, a sixth grader at United Middle School. United ISD students also took top honors at the Regional Spelling Bee, which was also held online. Lamar Bruni Vergata Middle School's Emmanuel Remacall took first place, Kai Yuan Nan from United Middle School won second place, and Gonzales Middle School's Paula Davis walked away with a third place trophy. Congratulations to our champion spellers. United Independent School District qualified 19 students for the state UIL academic meet. United, United South, Alexander, and Lyndon B. Johnson High Schools competed in the annual UIL Regional Academic Contest. United South High School garnered the most points to capture third place. United ISD high school students have made fantastic accomplishments in UIL drama competitions. Students in United High School's one-act play program under the direction of Daniel Viadiel advanced to the UIL bi-district level competition. At the bi-district competition, they took top scores again and advanced to the regionals. The UIL one-act play contest is a competition where similarly sized Texas schools present 19 40-minute plays. Alexander High School theatrical design students advanced to state competition. This year's assigned play was Man of La Mancha by Dale Wasserman and Joe Darian and Mitch Lee. The students presented costume and makeup concepts for the various characters in the musical play, which is based on the book Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes. The group placed second overall, while individual competitors David Elizondo and Alexandra Fragoso placed third and fourth respectively. Eleven United ISD Middle School students were recognized during the virtual April 2021 Outstanding 8th Grader of the Month ceremony hosted by Troutman Middle School. The students were celebrated for achieving academic excellence, participating in projects that benefit our community, and for being good role models. Alexander High School students competed in the district science fair and placed first in their respective categories. The winners were Daniel Muskies, who won first place in biological, medical, biochemistry, and health science. Zaida Gonzalez won first place in behavioral science. Karis Coronado won first place in space, physics, engineering, and computer science. All three advanced to the state science and engineering competition, and Daniel Muskies went on to compete at the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair. Congratulations to these young bulldog scientists. Alexander High School's Future Farmers of America chapter participated in the 58th annual Laredo International Fair and Exposition and swept the competition, winning top awards. A total of 73 students participated in various categories, taking home nine Grand Champion Awards and one Reserve Champion Award. 50 competitors out of 73 placed in the top 10 in their category. Congratulations, Alexander High School Future Farmers. 22 students in Lyndon B. Johnson High School's Career and Technical Education Oil and Gas class received their Occupational Safety and Health Administration certification. OSHA safety certification is highly valued and considered to be a bonus by employers in the industrial sector. Alexander High School's art students competed in the Regional Visual Arts Scholastic Event Art Competition and garnered 26 regional medals in their respective divisions. Seven of these students advanced to state competition, which is a record for Alexander High School. At the state competition, the students did it again as they won top honors with their works. One project that earned a medal was a stop-motion animation video produced by Sofia Vela. These students worked very hard to achieve these honors. 
Congratulations. United ISD congratulates Diano Elementary first grade student Natalia Sines and Freedom Elementary third grade student Noel Palomo for their recent victory in the Take Care of Texas statewide kids art contest. Students submitted artwork demonstrating how they would help keep the air and water clean, conserve water and energy, and reduce waste. As regional winners, Natalia and Noel will receive a tablet computer donated by the Texas Chemical Council. Their artwork will also be showcased on the Take Care of Texas Commission on Environmental Quality websites, newsletters, and social media. United High School ninth graders who attend face-to-face -face instruction and have had weekly perfect attendance were treated to a celebration. Snacks and various prizes were awarded during the celebration. Associate Principal Arlene Trevino stated that over 90 students had achieved perfect attendance. United South High School held a virtual interview skills competition for juniors and seniors in the Business Magnet program. Finalists were selected for formal interviews with professionals from the community. The overall top three winners were Brandon Galvan, who won first place, Lucero Ponce second place, and Paula Boteo third place. The competition is designed to help students develop effective communication skills that can give them a competitive edge in job or college admission interviews. United High School Magnet and CTE students took part in the Explore UT event hosted by the University of Texas at Austin. Explore UT is a fair that includes live shows, experiments, and hands-on workshops conducted by students, researchers, and professors in various fields of study. Students have the opportunity to learn from leaders in those fields. Participants also get a glimpse of life on campus at UT Austin. This year's event was held online, which allowed more high school students to take part. United South Middle School hosted a virtual career day for students. Donald Duck voiceover actor Daniel Ross spoke about his journey and success in the entertainment field. San Antonio news anchor Stephanie Serna Cienfuegos of KSAT shared her experiences as a television journalist and anchor. And the Laredo Regional Food Bank talked about their rewarding work during the COVID-19 pandemic. George Washington Middle School celebrated National Read Across America Day by giving students an opportunity to compete in the school's annual book character Build a Potato contest. National Read Across America Day is celebrated annually. It is a national initiative that encourages students to develop a lifelong love of reading. Every year in Mexico, Dia de los Niños, or Children's Day, is celebrated to recognize children's place in society. At Veterans Memorial Elementary School, librarian Cristina Antonelli observed the holiday in conjunction with another Mexican festivity called Dia del Libro, or Book Day. She gave one book to each pre-kinder, kinder, and first grade student attending face-to-face -face learning. The gesture was intended to help build a culture of literacy in our community, one child and one book at a time. Coming up on United ITV News, we'll introduce you to a community member who has made a difference in the lives of district students. And United South Middle School gifted and talented students are honored with a parade. Those stories and more are coming up. Don't change that channel. You're watching United ITV News. Since COVID-19, we all want to go back to the things we love and miss. The vaccines will put an end to this pandemic. We've lost enough people and suffered enough heartache. The code vaccine is now available to millions of Americans. This is the time to do what's right for each other. People you know and trust are getting vaccinated. So roll up your sleeve and do your part. Get vaccinated. We're counting on you. At United Independent School District, safety is our number one priority. Every UIC school has a security station which controls access to the main entrance. All campuses have police and security officers on site. Our command center allows us to monitor security cameras throughout the district. Our schools are equipped with metal detectors. As well as drug and bomb sniffing canines. At UISD, safety is our number one priority. You belong. What about this one? 
you evolve. You achieve. United. United ISD honored a community member who has made a difference for our district and students. Maria Antonieta Tony Ruiz was recognized by the Curriculum and Instruction Department for her contributions to UISD students at a surprise ceremony at the SAC Auditorium. Ms. Ruiz has provided learning opportunities for students by sponsoring a showcase about presidential historian Stanley Kloss, walking tours at the Laredo Heritage Museum featuring original documents from the Gilder Lehrman Institute and Louisiana State Museum, a mobile exhibit from the Anne Frank Center in New York City, among other activities. United ISD's new superintendent of schools, David Gonzalez, told us about Ms. Ruiz and her contributions. The impact that Tony Ruiz had on our district over 318 instructional support individuals, over 35,000 students were impacted because of this beautiful heart of a person that we have with us this morning. United ISD thanks Ms. Tony Ruiz for giving our students such direct and vivid learning experiences. United ISD's Office of Curriculum and Instruction hosted an appreciation drive through for the district's librarians. Librarians around the district stopped by to pick up their treat baskets and gift box. Associate Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction David Gonzalez and the rest of the staff greeted the librarians. Lyndon B. Johnson High School's ninth grade campus participated in National Library Week by scheduling virtual online activities for students. Daily winners received a book of their choice and a gift basket. George Washington Middle School had a parade to celebrate all students who participated in the Special Olympics Spring Virtual Games. The United ISD Special Education Department continued the tradition, success, and dynasty the district has built with Special Olympic Spring Games. They aim to inspire students and provide possibilities to maximize their potential. Celebration parades were organized across the district to celebrate all participants. United South High School held a parade for the Precious Panthers, who participated in the Special Olympics Virtual Spring Games. The Panther cheerleaders and football team joined campus administration and faculty to show their support. The Precious Panthers were given goodie bags that included participation medals, Chick-fil-A coupons, community coupons, face masks, stickers, and hand sanitizers. United South Middle School recognized their gifted and talented students by holding a special parade in their honor. Faculty and staff greeted the students and their families as they drove by the school to collect certificates of honor and goodie bags. The students, faculty, and parents were very happy to celebrate this festive occasion. United South Middle School Assistant Principal Cynthia Garza was happy about doing something special for the students of her school. The reason why we're here is to celebrate our 6th, 7th, and 8th grade uh, GT students, they worked very, very hard in completing their GT projects. They presented, um, they were judged, and we had finalists that are going to be going in, uh, into the district level. Um, so here today we are taking the time to celebrate and recognize their achievements. Um, they did excellent. Um, I just want to say congratulations, Leopards. You all are awesome. It's plain to see the faculty and staff of United Middle School love their students. Centeno Elementary School hosted a parade to induct 4th and 5th grade students into the National Elementary Honor Society. The Honor Society recognizes students for their outstanding academic achievement and demonstrated personal responsibility. United ISD Board President Ramiro Veles III joined in on the celebration to personally congratulate the newly inducted honor students. 
School counselors are always there to help and guide students and deserve to be recognized for their hard work. That's why United ISD's Guidance and Counseling Department partnered with Chick-fil-A to host a celebratory parade for Counselors Appreciation Week. Each counselor was treated with a Chick-fil-A lunch, a bag of goodies that included office supplies and isolated reusable totes. UISD's Director of Guidance and Counseling, Melissa Ramirez, told us about the celebration. The purpose for our event today is to celebrate our amazing counselors in the district. Uh, we did celebrate National Counselors uh, Week, the 1st, February 1st through 5th. But due to our closure, we are celebrating today. They do an amazing job with our students, with our parents, and with our community members. Congratulations, counselors, and thank you for your hard work and dedication to the students of United ISD. Alexander High School's boys' varsity soccer team advanced to the regional semifinal playoff in Corpus Christi. Administration staff and team parents gathered to give the Bulldogs soccer team a good luck send-off. Webb County Judge Tano Tiarino was also there to see the students and offer them some motivational words. Alexander High School Principal Ernesto Sandoval expressed his pride and support. Just want to wish our Bulldog soccer boys the best of luck today. Go with God, go win the game, go play hard. Fight, 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 Bulldogs. You got this. Let's go. Unfortunately, the Bulldogs did not win the playoff game, but we are proud of them all the same for having done so well in representing United ISD, Webb County, and Laredo in out-of-town competition. It was a happy occasion when four Alexander High School Lady Bulldog soccer players signed their college scholarships. Sarah Nishiyama signed a letter of intent for a full-ride scholarship at St. Louis Community College in St. Louis, Missouri. She said that dedication is the key to success. It takes dedication and discipline, but if you like it, you'll get the work done. Regina Nishiyama signed a letter of intent for a full-ride scholarship locally at Texas A&M International University. Abigail Gonzalez signed a letter of intent for a full-ride scholarship at Navarro College in Corsicana, Texas. And Idania Dominguez signed a letter of intent for a full-ride scholarship at Garden City Community College in Garden City, Kansas. A ceremony was held at the Alexander High School Gymnasium where Coach Erica Alcaraz praised the four seniors for what they had accomplished under difficult circumstances. An Alexander High School Lady Bulldog athlete is on her way to college. Rebecca Bustamante, a star volleyball player for the Lady Bulldogs, has signed a letter of intent for a full-ride scholarship at Our Lady of the Lake University in San Antonio, Texas. A signing ceremony was held at the Alexander High School Gymnasium. Miss Bustamante is coming off a successful senior season in which she was named District Setter of the Year. Her family, school administrators, coaches, and teammates were there to observe the occasion. She plans on studying biology at Our Lady of the Lake University and playing on their volleyball team. Four United High School soccer players inked their college scholarships. As they play soccer as part of the team, they sign their scholarships as a team at a joint ceremony. Genaro Presas Jr. signed a letter of intent for Heartland Community College in Normal, Illinois, he plans on studying business administration. Luis Enrique Hinojosa also signed a letter of intent for Heartland Community College in Normal, Illinois. He plans on studying civil engineering. Ernesto Amaro signed a letter of intent for Texas A&M International University in Laredo. He plans on studying kinesiology. Christian Faria signed a letter of intent for Howard Payne University in Brownwood, Texas. He plans on studying communications. Soccer coaches Daniel Mendez, Jonathan Beltran, and David Gutierrez Nunez were in attendance with the players' families, friends, and fellow teammates at a ceremony in the school's gymnasium. We wish them lots of luck and success for their futures. A Longhorn volleyball player is on her way to a bright future. United High School senior Tina Trevino signed a scholarship letter to play volleyball and attend college at Our Lady of the Lake University in San Antonio. Her family, teachers, and coaches were there to observe the occasion with her. She told us about how all her hard work and dedication is paid off. The road was very, obviously, bumpy. I mean, there's never a, a clean road. You're always having to work. And 
focus and stay on the right track and challenge yourself to get to where you want to. So my road was at where I want to be and I'm very thankful for that. She also thanked her parents, family and coaches for their ongoing support. We'll be right back after these important messages. Don't change that channel. You belong. What about this one? You evolve. You achieve. Once you post your image online, you can't take it back. Anyone can see it. Remember, think before you post. Since COVID-19, we all want to go back to the things we love and miss. The vaccines will put an end to this pandemic. We've lost enough people and suffered enough heartache. The code of vaccine is now available to millions of Americans. This is the time to do what's right for each other. People you know and trust are getting vaccinated. So roll up your sleeve and do your part. Get vaccinated. We're counting on you. You're watching UISD ITV. The best source for education information. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You have been watching United ITV News. We hope you enjoyed our show. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.